All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to CatCast episode number 774. I'm your host, GPD, here in Long Island, New York. And as always, we're joined by a man who outlasted Pete Hines, Wombat. In what? A pie-eating competition? Well, no, he retired. Did you know? I know. I, I know. I was, like, tagging your joke. Oh. I thought it was funny. Eh, it's good to think things. Wow. It was funny-ish. I thought, was, I thought it was funny. Sure. Chip, was it funny? Uh... Uh, Too late. Sure, let's go with that. Too I, late. I'm still, I'm still recovering from the Pete Hines news. Does that make you <laughs> sad? I, it makes me indifferent. Yeah, we'll get to that later, though. <laughs> yeah, we'll get to the indifference later in the show. We like to yep. save that for later. Yep, 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 yep. Right. Mm -hmm. What's been going on? Uh, I was at a car dealership tonight. So that what, happened? Were doing, what were we doing there? Uh, my wife's lease is up, so we had to get her a new car. Let me guess, Ooh. Ford Explorer? They make yes. those anymore? Oh, yep. I got nope, it. That's right, it. Right. Yep. Same thing again. Just what she likes. What am I going to do? Say right. no? Yeah. Nah. Right. It's easier. <laughs> right. <laughs> so that's, you know, we pick it up on Friday. Same color, too. So, you oh. know. Oh, fantastic. Uh-huh. Exciting. Really exploring your options there. Hey, but I'm pumped. Yep. Yeah. Very Ford Explorer, right. they still make them. They do. Oh, and I need to have a the give a shout out to uh, Tony, our show listener, who sent me a stand for my son's Hot Wheel Republic Starship. Oh my gosh, that's where that came from. That's where it came from. Is that just from his own personal collection? <laughs> no, he was in his Walmart and they had it, and he's like, I, and he bought it before I keep even asking, and he's like, I don't need the stand. He goes, but I would like to keep the ship. If you want the stand, and I said that is cool by me, I really appreciate it. And he sent me the stand. Pretty much unasked. Pretty much unasked. I didn't ask. I didn't like say it on the show. Although I so, appreciate. So now it. your your ship is flying high an inch higher off the <laughs> desk. It looks pretty cool with the stand on it. My son won't. My son is like obsessed with it. So does he think now does he think like you're super cool because people are just you mention something that you need and then it just arrives in the mail. You don't even have to buy it. No, my son does not think I'm super cool. Oh, at he didn't, any, at he didn't any think point. anything was cool about that situation. He was just like, "Oh, I got a no, free stand." Was, no, he, you know, it's funny as we didn't tell him, and the stand came, and I put the ship on the stand, and I you, put it on the, and I put it on the table to see how long he would notice. You gaslit yeah. him is what you well, did. Why did he gaslight him? Gaslighting would be saying there never was a Cat, stand. Catfished him. <laughs> no, catfish would be if I sent him a picture of a different ship, and said, "This is what the ship looks like." I just didn't tell him that the, that it was coming because I wanted it to be a surprise. Oh, okay. It's called surprising him. Got it. And then I put the ship on the stand and I put it on the table. And when he came home from school, he was like, he literally was stunned. It's like, what? See? What's this? Gaslight. What? It's very exciting. Wow. Nice. Mm -hmm. Good job. Yep. Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I need a That's new part it. for my boiler if any listeners want to. Send that over. It's nine hundred dollars, I think. Ooh. But I, I actually I already got it replaced. So how's your house doing, too late. Chip? Oh, my, my house is great. Excellent. I got, I got that Hot water pipe. situation. Yeah, I got that new pipe in. Got the the water going where it should be. In my house. It's it's all good over here. It's delivering the water at a good pace. Yes. Yes. I mean, the, the water was always coming in at a good pace. It just was <laughs> not inside the pipes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but no, it's good. It's amazing. But spending a lot of money will get you. The nice thing is like we caught it early. They did not like have to tear up the whole yard. So they did a good job on it. It was done in a day. Like overall, how, pretty, how was that pretty fancy? Painless. How was that fancy uh, extra equipment you paid for? The extra fancy drill. No, nothing like soothes me more than if I'm like sitting in this chair, like working, right? Yeah. Like staying at home and working while they're, while they're working on it. And then you start to hear the foundation of your house being drilled into. Nice. Like that's, that's the comforting feeling that you can have. Like pretty, <laughs> pretty much like right up there. Like, <laughs> well, imagine much, much more comfortable feeling. Imagine if you didn't pay extra for the better drill. The whole time you'd be thinking, oh my God, my whole house is shaking. I probably should have paid extra for the better drill. Yeah. So no, at least there was like nothing you could have done. They did a great job. Like I know 
I probably could have shopped around and got a cheaper price, but at the same time, like, I, I don't know, for something like that, I'm calling the company that knows what they're doing, like the trusted company. Um, so like they did a good job. I'm happy with it. It's, it's behind us and Merry Christmas kids. You've got a new water. <laughs> you got new water vibes. Yeah, yeah. Just put a picture of the pipes under the tree. This is what we got. Right. We lost, <laughs> we lost Voltron, Lego Voltron, but we got fresh pipes. We just, got, we lost the box. Let's be oh, clear. Okay. Yeah. Like all the plastic bags of the Legos inside of the box were fine. It's just right. the, the box is no more. Make your own box project for a rainy sunday <laughs> i think i think it just encourages me to actually build the lego set is what it's done because now i have loose bags of legos that are outside of a box right the box is you know the box is nice to, well, it was in the closet anyway yeah went, went to some dirt malls this weekend though it was fall oh, break i saw i saw your picture of your random toys your dino riders and uh and gi joe yeah it was great pieces like, so I went to two separate places. That that came from the antique mall, which cool. is a, a step up from a from a uh, flea market, right? Mm -hmm. Did you mm -hmm. use the term dirt mall? Yeah, dirt yeah. mall. You never heard of the dirt mall? I've never heard of that term. What does that That's mean? Have you ever seen the movie Mall Rats? Mall Rats. <laughs> The first one, maybe. So there's, there's only yeah. one Mall Rats. Okay. The first you've seen the first Mall Rats. Yes, yeah, I was more of a clerk's person. So they, they refer to the, like the flea market mall as the dirt mall. The dirt mall, which we have one of those nearby my house. There is a dirt mall. What, is the it dirt called a dirt mall because it's in the dirt or just because like dirty people go there? Like what's the deal? Everything applies. Yeah, <laughs> I think some of them actually have a dirt floor. Okay. Like in Florida, there are flea markets inside giant tents. I've been to one of those and that has a dirt floor. So I think maybe it derives from something like that. Okay. But we have the the Tri County flea market in Levittown. Remember, right by the old that old ping pong place. Smash. That would be Rest yeah, smash. Yeah, in that same shopping center was that would be considered a dirt mall. God, okay. Even though that's indoors, I, I love I love a yes. good dirt mall. They're mm -hmm. they're fantastic. Like okay. if yeah. I'm if I'm looking like it's pretty much the only place you can go to get like a a two piece bikini Thanos bathing suit, just like. With Thanos's face on it, that's hot. Yeah, yeah, and so cute. Like, yep, and and um, you'll find stuff in there like old baseball cards, uh, Donald Trump paraphernalia, gold chains, yeah. a uh, tell star. Yep, uh, yes, the Chinese throwing stars. Yep, yeah, nice. My, my, yeah, I did say tell star. Uh, I, I found one of those covered with with dust. Uh, I didn't get it. Um, my kids were introduced. Yeah, to the like. What is this sword and knife uh, store here? Like, Ooh. Th this is where people come to get their swords and knives. This is where the about? ninjas shop. Come on. <laughs> yep. Basically, yeah. If you need a sword, a a uh, Ron Darling baseball card, <laughs> and maybe and some fireworks. A new Trump hat. And yeah. Right. So I, I, know I came okay. away with some some GoBots that nice. were a dollar each. Excellent. But yeah. Uh, and. A paintball uh, gun? Because they sell those there, I'm sure. I did not get a paintball gun. I can't remember what else we got. It wasn't a big haul from the dirt mall, but it's it's just an enjoyable experience when you're walking around in there. It's it's a people is watching it? event. Okay. It, it really I is. haven't been in a while. Yeah. So but then, I never we knew that's what it was called. So we we went from the, the dirt mall to the to the antique mall, which that's where I found like there's like an outside area to it, right? Like it's kind of covered outside of the outside of the antique mall, but they like they like put stuff out on the sidewalk too. And so like we were walking by, and I'm like, oh, I see a GI Joe vehicle just like down there on the on the ground. And you don't like you don't just pass by GI Joe vehicles too much anymore. Like they've all been swallowed up. So I'm like looking at it, and like there's a couple down there. There's like uh, uh, Sergeant Slaughter's little tank. Remember that thing? The, like the stands white up truck. In it. The one, no, the one, was, one short one. Not it the, was a white, not the big one. The, the white, the white, like one. with the triangle thing on top. The triangle, yeah, from the, the triangle, right? Yeah. yeah. They had that, and they had some like Battle Force Two Thousand. Do you remember Battle Force Two Thousand? <laughs> no. Battle Force Two Thousand. It was, uh, it it was when they were selling vehicles that did not come with figures. You had to buy the figures separately, and then if you bought like all 
six or seven vehicles, you could combine them together. You combine to make it a into big, one like, thing. Fort. Yeah. I had all of those. Yes. Is that G.I. Joe or its own it's thing? It's G.I. Joe. No, it's G.I. Joe. Joe. Yeah. I had all of those. I combined them into the thing. The thing didn't actually connect. You just kind mm. of put it on you the floor and set the things next to you each other. set them next to each other. And that pissed me off. Right. But I did like the round one. The jet was cool. That was the thing that had the round one on the back of it. Mm -hmm. right? It had the little pod on the back. Yep. That um, one was cool. That was well, the only good one. Yeah. So we were looking at those and it's like, they were like halfway put together, right? They were just sitting there. It's like, did it have the one with the treads that also makes a corner? Yeah. No, 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 no. They did. That's uh, that's blizzard's vehicle. What's that thing called? That's it's the, the snow. The snow cat. It's the snow vehicle. It's not a snow cat. I thought it was called a snow cat. No, the snow cat's the real one. That's oh. the one cheapy knows. The snow Got cat's it. the one with the missiles on the back and the, and the, the ski, the ski missiles. But there the is the GI Joe what vehicle a called a snow cat. Yes, I'm not like, is. okay. Yeah. It'd be one thing that's, if I was like, that's, by snow cat, that's, that's not even by GI Joe. That's Frostbite's okay. vehicle. Sorry. Not, not Blizzard's vehicle. I'm sorry. Uh, what about snow? Job? You asshole. <laughs> Does snow Wrong job have a vehicle? No job. Snow job. Yeah. <laughs> no, he just kind of like rides in the snow cat sometimes. Mm -hmm. Um, but like, so I was looking at him like, pretend oh, his name isn't they're inappropriate. Like, they're like five dollars <laughs> each, right? And I'm like, oh, Dash will like, I guess pick out a couple of these. I don't know, they're not all there, but like, you can pick out a couple. And then like, as we're like looking at him, he's like, well, what's in that tub over there? And then like, I look over and it's like forty dollars for the whole tub. And I just look at it and go like, oh, there's Transformers in there. Right. There's uh, there's other GI Joe stuff. Like it's at the same vendor. I'm like, yeah, we'll just grab that and grab the ones down here. And like, we we bought that for $40 and it's like we got a bunch of good stuff in nice. there and like I knew how it all went back together like the person who selling, was selling it for cheap did not so I'm right. like oh this is this this is this so what were was, some of the good, good transformers you got there was only three transformers in there okay uh Cyclonus was in there but it's Cyclonus without his arms <laughs> so no, Onus no you just got Onus I just got yeah I just got Onus uh but he's still cool like because he's He's Gen One and he's metal, right? Like, sure, it's, it's good. Yeah. Uh, and then there was, oh, what what is that guy's name? Uh, he's he's a dragon with two heads. Oh, I was out by then. Mm -hmm. By the time they started bringing in dragons, yeah. I was out. Uh, and then there was chain claw claw chain something like that. This was later once uh, Japan had stopped. Uh, designing the transformers and they were brought to america and they were just like he came inside of like a bear shell like it was a bear shell and you took him out and then there was a transformer inside um, i don't like that either <laughs> so yeah so you got ripped but, off is what you're saying no no i i did not i got oh. <laughs> i got uh uh bluegrass's uh guitar from silver from, from silver hawks yeah just, just the, the guitar just the guitar not the hat no, not the hat. The guitar the hat alone is, hole is worth the like 20 bucks, though. Just his guitar. That's right. funny. Because yeah. the hat had a hole in the top to make room for his mohawk. Yeah, I, well, yeah, I had bluegrass. Yeah, we all had bluegrass. Bluegrass was great. Mm -hmm. um, no one had yeah. Copper Kid, though. Oh, I did have Copper Kid. <laughs> it doesn't surprise me. I did have Copper Kid. I had bluegrass. I had Quicksilver. I had uh, Monstar. Everyone had Mon. Monster had, was awesome. But he, what was the buzzsaw guy's name? The green one. The green one with the buzzsaws? It was the, called the green one with the buzzsaws. Yeah. yeah. I think that might have been my collection of... And I, I like Monstar because uh, you could squeeze his legs and his head would flip around. Yeah, inside yeah. His no, they, chest. Were, they were great. And then I had like... It was like a big version of Quicksilver's Silverhawk. Like the... Really? That's yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was neat, but I couldn't figure out what I was supposed to do with it because it was a different scale than the rest of the stare at it. Yeah, but mm -hmm. that's pretty much what I did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stared at it. Yeah, yeah, nice. But and then and then I there was a Dino Rider thing in there. It was the only thing in the entire like bin that I did not know what it was. Like I thought it was a spaceship or something. I was trying to put this thing together. I'm like, I have no idea what this is. I immediately thought this is something that Wombat would have had because. It's clearly like it was not the toys that everybody else had. It was some weird thing. I'm like, Wombat don't know what this is. Immediately, he knew exactly what it was. He had it. I had it. I had all the Dino Riders. I had the complete Dino Riders. Name set. all the Dino Riders. I couldn't name a single one, but I had them all. 
I can't even tell you where I got them. I got them when there was, I got them at F.A. Schwartz when there was the only one in Manhattan, the big one from when it was the one from Big. That's where we got them, and it was pretty cool. I remember that day. They, they had a guy like a named whole, Rex. They had like a whole display for Dino Riders, like it was going to be the next big thing, and uh-huh. it was at the time I think the only place they sold them. You know, because they used to do that, like they did with the Nintendo Entertainment System. They sold sure. it there for a year before they sold. They did that, but with, uh, but uh, what should we call it? But with the Dino Riders, and I got them then before they, you know, were supposed to hit big in the marketplace, and that never really happened. Ooh. That was one, and the other one I remember that was like that was Sky Riders. Did you ever ever have any Sky Riders? No, but that was actually one of the things. I'm like, maybe this is a Sky Rider. Yeah, no, nope, it, it was not. I like those. I like those. Actually, yeah, no, like, I know you You had all the toys that nobody else had. What? I, are you telling me you didn't have visionaries? There was a vision. I did have one visionary and there was a visionaries vehicle in this tub. See? It was a, uh, it's like a red motor, like big motorcycle steamroller looking thing. That's cool. And I knew it was visionaries right away because it had that hologram face. Any it. centurions in that? Uh, There's no centurions in there. There were some, uh, Oh, um, there weren't Zoids. It was the other uh, Roy. Not Jason the, not Jason the Wheel no, Warriors. It, it was a competitor to Zoids. Uh, oh, I I know I had some when I was little because I had one that would like they had robots and they had like a one of them had like missiles that looked like boobs on the front of him and the other one had like a big uh, like drill on the front of him. I think I know what you're talking and, about. Yeah, and they, their faces had like little people in them. Like they were like shields with little people in them, and they were they had ones where it had like rings that you could wear them on your on your finger, and they had like little missiles you could take them apart. It's I can't believe you don't know what this is. It seems like it would be a toy that was up your alley. I'd have to look it up. Did you and see? Ass. I I know you're not a Marvel Legends person, and I know we're going on too long about toys, but did you see that the next wave of Marvel Legends they're going to have a Crystar in it? The the another failed toy line from the early 80s Crystar but they're actually Marvel I guess owns the license and they're making a Marvel legend you know like one of these guys of that failed 80s license toy mm-hmm. I'm very excited I I may actually buy that one on release cuz I had I had a Crystar he obviously was not as nice and detailed as that in 1982, 83. So, sounds like a religious toy. Yeah, is, is Star, that- blue Star Wars is what I was thinking of. It's like uh, Warriors, but with an ST in front of it, so you can you don't know how to pronounce it quite right. Bad name. Mm-hmm. You're not like so, these toys. Yeah. Are, you guys are too young. I'm too old, I guess, for these toys. Never heard yeah, your of any toys of them. were all like wooden, right? Yeah, yeah. No, they were not wooden. I did have Lincoln Logs though that were wooden, but I inherited those. I like. I, the, I had a. I had some Lincoln Logs growing up. Things were hand me downs. They <laughs> they were not great. They were oh. awesome. I like them. You, you, you make you a, you the make same a, thing every time. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah a tower. <laughs> look look yeah. at my tower. But you could like hit things with them too because they're pretty long and sturdy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that so you don't, you'd have the ones that were broken too, and you're like, oh. And the little know, ones guess... were like weapons. The little ones were like, you know, you could be, they could be like little cannonballs, like that they're long, you know, like rectangular cannonballs. <laughs> I don't know. Shipwreck, <laughs> you have rectangular cannonballs, don't you? Yeah, that's what we have in I Ohio. Heard, I heard about it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's your college nickname, right? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, I had like 50 strangers in my house this weekend for that house tour that like I talked about last week. Or two weeks How'd ago. How'd it go for you? <laughs> it, was, uh, it rained the entire day, so we were worried that nobody was going to come. But people still came. There were a lot of people, and they seemed to like it. They just didn't go outside that much. Um, what, what do people do in this, like, like, situ- like they come to your house, and uh-huh. then they're there? Well, there was a, there was a, a now talk. What? There was a talk okay. at, in the middle of the... It was, op- it was, for two, it was a two-hour open house, but in the middle... There were various people giving talks, short talks, um, like a preservation group, like a modern preservation group. Um, and the, the architect who did the renovation for us 
And we were very surprised when the architect got very emotional while he was giving his speech. Like he started crying. And we were just like, wow. That's because like, he remembered how much you paid him. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, he was like, you know, when I was a young boy and I was in this, I was growing up, I was sitting in the synagogue. The synagogue was designed by uh, this guy, Marcel Breuer, who's like a famous uh uh, he designed furniture and, and he was an architect. Um, he designed the synagogue and the guy that designed this house was, you know, worked with this guy. And so it like all like just they connected with him somehow. And he so like immediately started like getting choked up. And I thought like, I didn't know what was happening because it didn't seem like the thing that you would get emotional about. But and you're like, and you're like I fart in here all the time. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, actually, I don't. Not that room. You don't I was going to say, in your house? I'm no, sure I mean, I do, but mostly I, 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 I'm farting. I'd say, like, mostly I'm farting in my bed, and I'm farting, like, in this room quite a bit, but not in, like, the kitchen or living room. Like, I'm not in the living room that much. That's anyway, they, so the architect, architect, you know, got emotional. It was nice. It added, like, a human element to everything. And, and then, so that went, it went well, and I spent a lot of money getting the house ready, and I spent a lot of, like, I literally, like, lost a layer of my skin, like, cleaning the house. Um, and then today, the, the woman who grew up in the house and sold us the house came for, like, a, her tour. She was actually out of the country when, for the event, but she came today with her husband and checked out the house, and it was really nice. She told me that she thought her father would really, like, love what we did with the house. Um... So his ghost is happy. Good. Isn't that good? Did anyone say, is, like, is he still in the house, card? the ghost? Is the ghost in the house right now? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he died in the house. Right? The, the previous owner of my house also died in the house. We're pretty sure his ghost is here. That's so, I mean, I haven't had any ghost thing, ghost-like things happen, I gotta say. But I, it sounds where, like he would be he, satisfied. Where did he die at in the house? Where? Yeah. Um, I don't know. Probably in the bedroom. Know? I don't know. Okay. I would guess in, in my bedroom. Okay, that's fine. As long as it wasn't where I sleep. <laughs> no, no, probably not. Unlikely. Unlikely. Okay. I think he was mostly living in the bedroom. I mean, he, I mean, he was like 98 or something like that. A lot. I just realized I said the wrong G.I. Joe name earlier, and I'm upset at myself. Holy shit. What it's was it? Avalanche. Avalanche is the Battle Force 2000 snow guy. <laughs> Blizzard's so, a different, you different know what? Character. I'm embarrassed for you. I, I would be. I like I, I couldn't go this whole show with that weighing on me. Editor's what correction. A, some yeah. real I thought you were an expert. It turns out it was just a snow job the whole time. I do know that we picked up pulverizer. That was one of the vehicles. Nice. <laughs> a lot of I mean, I have a lot of toys around here. So people must yep. have thought like I was pretty nerdy. But what are you gonna do? If they had a house tour at your house, they would thought you were in the toy business. Oh, the the people fixing my pipes. Yeah, what, what were, happens when they come in? I I would like I would go check on stuff periodically, and they would just be wandering around like looking at stuff. Right, nothing's getting done. They're just like, <laughs> what is? Why am I in a blockbuster right now? Like, what is happening? Am I? Did I just like phase out of this guy's house? And do you is have this a store the, is, down this here? Kid, is this the kid from Big? Did he make a wish? Right. <laughs> Nice, nice. They were excited. They, I, yeah, they liked. A couple of them wanted to talk to me about He Man a bunch. So I was fine with that. I'm like, hey, I'll talk to you about a He Man if you knock a couple thousand dollars off this, uh, this pipe. Didn't didn't work. <laughs> didn't work. Yeah. I read this book that you might like. Actually, a graphic novel called The He Man Effect. It's about. Um, it's basically about that whole business of making the cartoons and the toys on Saturday. Mm -hmm. You know, the Saturday I would morning. Like that. Yeah, yeah, it's by um, Fox Brown is the guy's name. It's a, yeah, I, I got it for my birthday. It was good. The He-Man effect. It's something like Almost. the He-Man effect, how corporate something ruined your childhood or, or yeah. something. Yeah, no, that's the regulation laws ended in 1980. Yeah. yeah, they talk about that. It's really well done. Like it starts out like way early in history and talks about, and sort of ties it together, sort of ties it to He-Man somehow. Um, it's really cool. Check that out. 
Uh, should we do some show feedback? The show's almost over, I think, so we should probably... Yeah, yeah might as well. <laughs> uh, Chicken008 had to say, Captain from Animal Crossing, because we talked about the Animal Crossing Lego sets, more toys, last week. Captain from Animal Crossing is neither a turtle or a frog. He's a kappa, a being from Japanese folklore. Cheapy, I'm a little disappointed that you didn't pick up on that. I only know the tanuki with the really big testicles. That's what I know. The mystically large testicles. I think no, I've looked me. this up before because it, it sounds familiar to me. Testicles yeah, or this, this frog thing? Both. I think that I think that it's, that's come up before. 